1919, two brothers by the name of Adolf and Rudolf Dazzler would create a very small company in Germany, which would spiral off to become two of the biggest sports names today. However, every story has a beginning, and obviously, these two were, were a very small company in Germany. It wasn't until 1936 in the German Olympics where the American Jesse Owens would run a pair of their shoes and go on to win plenty of gold medals. After this, stocks would skyrocket, sales would skyrocket, and obviously with fame and money always becomes hatred, and we would see the split of Adidas and Puma. Adidas left to go and create Adidas, and Rudy does that to go and create Puma. In 1964, Blue Ribbon Sports also entered the frame, who would later become known as the one and only Nike in 1971. These three, in my opinion, have been the most standout of the shoe brands over the course of the last decade, the last century. But, to, obviously, the recent World Cup, would even prove that with Adidas, Nike, and Puma all taking that top spot when it comes to the brands. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be pitting Adidas versus Nike versus Puma in a five-round series where we are going to find out who is the best. But before we get into anything, make sure to drop a like and subscribe as it will massively help the channel out a lot. Without further ado, let's get into the teams. So first of all then, we are going to be starting off with Anilas FC. Uh, their team, obviously we're going to take in the best footballers we can. They've got to stay against Alibet, Delit, uh, Hakimi, Tierney, uh, Bellingham, Pedri, uh, Casemiro, no, Gretzka, Messi, Penzema and Mohamed Salah. This team, in my opinion, is definitely a strong one. The midfield is very strong, very young, lots of talent. The defence, obviously, tyranny at the back, it's got to try and make it a bit balanced. So that is how I've decided to balance it. And then obviously the attack, it is lethal with Messi, Benzema and Salah. But they're going to have strong competition off their biggest competitors, Nike, who obviously I put on Barcelona. That is, I think, their biggest club uh, that reps the Nike gear. Uh, they have Courtois in goal, Cancelo, Rudiger, Van Dijk, Fulton Davies, um, Odegaard, Musiala, Kimmich, Mbappe, Kane and Vinicius Jr. That front three is incredibly pacey with Mbappe and Vinicius on the wings. That defence is also very, very solid with Courtois in goal, Rudiger and Van Dijk, two of the best defenders in the world. And then a more youthful midfield through the middle of Musiala, Odegaard and also Joshua Kimmich. Very strong team, the strongest of the three in my opinion, but to round out this trio, we obviously have to talk about Puma FC. They go with Kingsley Carmen, Griezmann, Neymar Jr. as their front three. In the midfield, they run with Madison, and Royce and Vistel. Zinchenko, Kurabali, Varane, Walker and Oblak finish off the team. This side of my opinion is definitely the weakest of the three. However, um, there wasn't really many players playing for Puma. There was a lot more English players. Uh, Harry Maguire, I think, was on here as well. A bit of a shame he isn't in here, but yeah. So, these are definitely going to be the underdog. However, that might not always be the case. We always know in these challenges we have had some major surprises. But we have fair ado. There's not much waiting. Let's get to the first round. Okay then, so getting in to round number one. I put them all into a World Cup simulation. The pair, obviously, I haven't explained it in the rules. But basically, whichever of the teams has the lowest average score at the end of the game will be eliminated. So, we're going to do a World Cup and Champions League simulation. Obviously, whichever team gets further, they will have less points. So, say if the team wins the competition, they will get one point. They get to the final, they get two. Uh, quarter, semi-final, they get four. Quarter final, eight. Round of 16, 16. And obviously, if they get knocked out in the group, they get four thirty-two points. Whichever two teams have the lowest score at the end of the game will get out. Obviously, the World Cup groups, uh, Adidas is in the group with France, Norway, and Libertor. Uh, and yeah, they're all quite uh, easy-ish groups. But then, going into the round of 16, we have two of our teams come through. Uh, Puma and Adidas. And also, Nike, do not forget the name. 
all into this next round of the competition. In the group stages then, and Mike Dean managed to get to the top spot. No beat Croatia uh, to that uh, top spot. Pure top their group, and then obviously Adidas finished second in their group, which is a bit concerning, I am not going to lie to you. However, I see it as not really uh, much of a threat. Then they should really get through against Portugal, but... Let's get into the round of 16 then. The first game I think is going to be Puma versus Hungary, which it will be. We're going to quick sim this. Who's going to win? It's going to be Puma. And they make it to the quarterfinals and chalk off eight points from their total. And that's FC though. It's not the same. They are out. They are done. Mike FC, can they get through? Yes, they can. So now it is 32 points, 16 points. Uh, in the favour of Adidas, uh, we're going to have to see how the rest of these teams do. Puma against Argentina, and they will lose, and now they can get through, so they are livid. However, obviously now Puma, they will have 8 points. Oh yeah, it's going to be very dodgy, but Argentina in the final do beat Nike out there, which will mean that Nike will now have 2 points. Uh, Adidas will have 16, and then Puma will have 8, because obviously they got to the quarterfinals, which means they get 8 points. So, then, yeah, very, very interesting. So, obviously, at the end of the group, 2, 8, and 16. Obviously, Adidas, if they need to probably get to the final here and hope Puma gets knocked out at about the quarterfinal stage, if they want any chance of winning. But here we go. For round number two, I have simulated an entire uh, season. Obviously, all three teams are already in the Champions League, so I do not really have to edit anything there. But obviously, whichever team now does get further in the competition, they will evidently uh, probably end up getting through. All that I now needs to do is realistically get to the quarterfinal, and I think that they are mathematically safe. They might be safe if they get out of the group. Uh, but we will have to see. So we'll go to the Champions League. And oh, we're going to pretend we know there was saw that then. So, two stages. Uh, I imagine all of our teams have got through. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I got through. Adidas got through. And Puma got through. So we have all three teams uh, into the next round. And yeah, very, very lovely stuff. It looked like all three teams did top their group. So then, are we going to find out who got out? So, yeah, Puma got through. Can uh, I go to the next page? Yeah, and Nike and Madrid did get uh, Iron Dust got through. Uh, so, they're all going to have eight points. Celtic, of all teams, beat out Adidas FC. So that is actually very odd. And I'm not going to lie, I am not at all surprised. And fair game. Puma, Nike, they both go through. So now that will leave a pretty much a free game shootout to decide the winner of the competition. Which will be a mystery ball, a king of the hill, and then a penalty shootout. So yeah, Nike versus Puma. Adidas out of the running. Let's get into the mystery ball game. So now, getting into the mystery ball game. Obviously, we have Puma playing Nike AC. It should be a pretty much a walk in the park here uh, for both for Nike FC. But you never know with these stuff. It could just be the run of the green, and obviously Nike are just better in simulation, and it's shot and it goes completely out there. Now here comes. Nike FC Davis on the ball and it goes to the keeper. Here comes here comes Nike again. Gonna square it across and it's gone in and it's 1-0 to Nike. Only the one goal though. So Rudiger does put them ahead here. Here comes on Twan Griezmann. Shoots and makes it level for Puma FC. Very, very strong start. Here comes Griezmann. Shoots and makes it 2-1 for Puma FC. Yeah, very, very strong start from the into the first half. Bit of a free kick then. Here comes Antoine Rudiger. Shoots and it goes 
Well, out there. Here comes Puma again. Are they going to shoot? We're holding it a long, long time. Here goes Cat. Will they shoot here? It's shot and it goes in to make it free. Bleeding one and it's shot and it's free too. So after I thought, to be honest, Puma will probably get in the upper hand. They take it back for two. I genuinely thought that might come back there, but obviously not. Zinchenko makes it six before the break. Incredible. He actually makes it seven. Wow, what a first half of football. Seven two. Now, the question becomes whether Mike can come back. And it's looking even less likely now. Eight two. Uh, so far, Rudiger shoots and it goes to the keeper. Here goes Rudiger. Shoot and makes it 8 for What a strike. And that is going to be absolutely incredible. I cannot honestly believe that. Right, here comes Adidas and it's made to become 6 bloody 5. What a result. For Adidas, I cannot believe that they at night they managed to come back here, and it's going to be made eight six. They are making a very steady comeback, Mike. That is absolutely incredible, and it's eight seven. Rudiger in the back line is making it a sure they get through. Pure make it nine. Nike make it nine eight. And all of a sudden, this game has massively massively switched on its head I cannot honestly believe the way this is going here goes Pierre and they make it 11 absolutely incredible football being played by Pierre every time they might get the ball they score then Pierre managed to get it back incredible here comes Nike on the ball shoot and makes it 11-10 Wow, an absolute slaughtering in, in the since a bit. It's not slaughtering, is it? It's been actually quite an even game. Here comes Nike once again. Will they score? Davis shoot and makes it 13 11. Incredible. <coughs> Brought this back a lot, haven't they? Another goal goes in 14 11. Nike have made a major comeback and now they are in cruise control. Oh, and it was all purple, so there's a chance they've got the entire boost. So we're going to have to see what score this will be. But here comes Purex, shoots and makes it 14 12. It's not the end of the game yet, it's not the end of the world. Pure have been the better side on multiple occasions so there is a very high possibility here that they are pegged back here comes and here come back again shoot and they score again another very good goal very well worked up goal they will take that very very nicely oh davis and it's shot again and it's 19 12. no bloody way Honestly, I cannot believe the fact that Nike, the team that won 7-2 down at half time, have brought this back. That is how insane Mystery Ball is on this game. That's why it is genuinely so entertaining. But Nike, they take a 1-0 lead going into round 2, which and is going to be a king of the, the hill ready, match. Robson. Absolutely breathtaking. Obviously, if Puma can't win this one, Nike, they win the they win the best brand of all sports brand of all time. If Nike, if Puma win, we go to a penalty shootout. In the end, and it's a very very scrappy uh, free kick there. They're going to have to Barcelona and Nike are going to have to get the goal here because obviously you have to stand in the zone for a while, collect. The time, get a goal, and go and score that goal before time runs out. Here comes Mike on the ball, shoot, and it's saved. And goes out for a corner. Odegaard on the corner, it's in. 
and it goes to the pure player. Here goes Vistol, and it goes well, well wide. Here goes shot, and it goes out for a corner kick. Here comes Pure FC. Corners whipped in. Whistle. It's gone out. Header. And it's gone out for another corner kick. Come on. They've got to score from this. Pure have all the momentum now. Right. Into the middle. And it's scored. 1 0. In the match. They are the leaders here. Colin Walker with the goal for. For Puma FC, he won't be able to level this up, and it's shot, and it's going to be another corner. You all know what happened the last time they had a corner, they scored. Madison, in again, is it going to be another goal? No, he won't. Comes out to Coleman, back to Madison. Madison then, inside, it's not going to go very far. Here comes Coleman once again, pass it, and it goes to Royce, who absolutely puts that in the ball into the second half and here comes Pure FC play and he shot and it's in again Pure FC turn it up here massive massive chance that they get a breath of revival for the penalty shootout cannot do anything Bobicard goes out for another corner but this time it is for Nike FC <coughs> Will they be able to do absolutely anything here to try and stop Puma from taking the win? Kimmich stands over the corner kick for Nike. Plays it to Vinicius. Gets it inside. Crossed in. And it goes out in there. Vodega, the man who held them in the mission ball, can't really do anything now. There then. Puma FC looking to slip it through. 89 minutes gone. Are we at game over? And the fourth official confirming. Puma have done everything they need to do. We're past 91. We're on 91 minutes. Here they go. Slip through nicely. And it's going to go out once again. And it's game over. Puma will take this to a decider. What a comeback from Puma FC. They are going to have a penalty shootout against Nike. 1-1 one, one is now the score. Can they make this a 2-1 win to them? Or will it go back to Nike? We will have to see who will come out on top here. Here we go then. Neymar Junior for Puma FC to step up first. Steps up and scores his penalty. Incredible. Here comes Kane. Shoots and makes it one all in the shootout. Very nicely done. Marco Royce to step up and makes it 2 2. Here comes Mbappe and he scores to make it. 2-2, two, two. here comes Antoine Griezmann, shoots, makes it 3-2, puts the back ahead, nicely done there, Kimmich, shoots, and it goes into the keeper's grasp there, Vistal, shoots, and it goes in for 4-2, the Stegen should be getting to that one, now then, here comes Vinicius Jr., if he doesn't score, it's game over and it's Nike's win. Shoot and it makes it 4 3. Or now. Man City, the Puma needs to score. And Madison dispatches it. It is game set a match. Puma, ladies and gentlemen, are your sports brand champion. They are the superior boot. They're a major underdog in this tournament. Is gonna win the competition. At first, I genuinely thought it would be Nike versus Adidas, but no, Nike versus Puma happened, and it was Puma who came out on top. Guys, if you have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.